and still out to look this damn good. Cause baby, I feel real good and I wish I would. It's gotta be against the law to look this damn good. Wake up! It's that time again, Vape AM, brought to you by Vapors1.com. I'm your host, Anthony Ramella. Yeah, got some stuff to talk about today. Um, drinking my Diet Dew on my Falcon and my Puma tank today as well. Today in history, uh, we do this segment every day. Uh, looks like 200,000 people marched on Washington in this date in 1971 to protest the Vietnam War. I'm wondering maybe if it's time for Vapors to uh, consider marching on Washington about uh, some of the issues that are coming up here. Uh, got a couple birthdays for you today. Uh, Al Pacino's birthday is today, so ooh-ah to Al Pacino. Glad to see he's still kicking around. And a pretty popular sportscaster, Joe Buck, uh, his birthday is also today as well. So happy birthday, Joe. Happy birthday, Al. Hope you guys are having a great, great day. Uh, I'm going to get on some news this morning because I really do have a lot to do today. Um, and unfortunately, this is going to be the last episode for this week. Uh, we're going to see you guys again on Monday. So the Wake and Vape news today, uh, there's a couple of things I just actually found about last night. A 62% tax increase in Colorado. This is kind of sad. One of my favorite states is now imposing an outrageous tax on vape products, 62%. This should bring about $317 million a year into the state. I got to believe it's probably because uh, the marijuana taxes that they were getting from the retail there have significantly dropped because the cost and the the retail price of marijuana products has dropped in the basement. You're seeing uh, ounces of marijuana sold at their retail dispensaries for, you know, anywhere between three and four hundred dollars now down to as low as forty five dollars on the last time I checked on 420. So they are not getting anywhere near the tax money and it was about a 20 percent tax. So at four hundred dollars, they were getting about 80 bucks in tax, where at, you know, 40 bucks, they're getting about eight bucks in tax. So that's a huge difference. And I think this is a way for them to increase their tax money, also to punish vapors. Uh, I saw one uh, person who owned a vape shop there in Colorado was saying that that was way more than their profit margin. So this is going to get passed on to the consumer. A lot of them are probably going to go back to smoking. A lot of shops will probably have to close up because the prices are just going to be way too much. So if you do live in Colorado, come to vaporsone.com and we'll ship the stuff to you online. That way you can avoid your sales tax. The other story I've got for you guys today is an absolute moron, and I love uh, seeing these people with absolutely no idea about vaping or what is involved with this. There is a lady, uh, it's pretty popular on Twitter and uh, Instagram, places like that, Kara Zampi, otherwise known as the Zampster uh, on her YouTube channel. Uh, this is a person who is considered a youth leader for the Capital Region Tobacco Free Coalition. She made a statement that was one of the most absurd that I've ever seen. She says that uh, people that are getting big clouds and doing vape tricks and stuff like that are using ammonia in their vape liquid so that they can get this harsh hit in these bigger clouds. This is absolutely the dumbest thing that I've ever heard. Greg Connolly tried to stop her on her way out after making this statement and they just completely ignored him. And all he wanted to know is, who in, do you know that's doing this because we'd like to stop them or where did you get this information? But the problem is, she doesn't have anywhere to get this information. I would encourage you to check out her YouTube channel just so you can see what kind of person this is. She could probably use the views and subscribers. I think she's got about 30 subscribers right now, so I'm sure she could use it. Um, to be honest with you guys, that's about all the news that I have for you guys this morning. I do have a little bit I wanna talk about after this. Here's the situation. We've got lots of reviewers out there. Uh, Grim Green, Zofi, you know, you've got Mike Vapes, you've got Rip Trippers, you've got the Vaping Bogon, you've got all these guys out there that are doing great reviews on products. But these products aren't going to mean a damn thing if we don't take a stand about this vaping situation. There are three bills in the House right now that want to ban flavors. There is a Senate uh, majority leader in the Senate that wants to pass Tobacco 21. This is going to cause a major problem. Get off your asses and fucking talk about this. I'm tired of waiting around and making a logical, calm argument so that people will be educated. I'm over it. If people don't start talking about this, I'm done doing this show, okay? I'm done doing this show. I'm doing this, I know this information, okay? I have this stuff. I know it already. I'm trying to share it with you guys so you can share it with the public so your vaping stays around. You don't lose your flavors. You don't have to go back to smoking to get your nicotine fix. And I'm calling you guys out. Grim normally does a vlog every Thursday. Hadn't done one for weeks. And when he comes back, 
All he does is tell people why he's gone, and I feel bad because his dad was sick, and I hope he's feeling better. But come out on Thursday and talk about some of this stuff. You have a huge audience. These are people that want this information, that need to know this information. I'm a little guy. I've got 100 subscribers and 25 people that watch my show on a regular basis. But I, I'm losing it. All right, I am, I love vaping. I don't want this to end and I'm telling you guys, I am seeing the future. I, I can see it coming and if we don't all stand together and fix this problem, it's all gonna go away. So I would encourage you guys to watch my other episodes, get informed, comment, share on Facebook, share on Twitter, I don't care. If you are a news person out there, if you have another show and you wanna get me on, I am more than happy. Anytime, anywhere, you wanna talk about vaping, I've got the knowledge. Put me up against a doctor. I will be happy to take that challenge. So that's the challenge that I'm throwing out there. If you want me, come and get me. But I'm telling you right now, this information needs to get out there or this is all gonna be over and all we're gonna do is send money back to Big Tobacco and kill a bunch more people. Six million people die every year across the earth from smoking tobacco products. This has got to stop and the tax money cannot be the reason why it doesn't, all right? I'm gonna get on with the rest of my day. I'm gonna jump in the shower. I might see you, I might not. Smoking is whack. Any kind of fool can see. So come to vapors, cause we can't live without you. Come to vapors, cause we can't live without you.